Hey, uh, we got guest host Mandel Brossel here today, and um, coming in with a uh, coming in with a little man just coming through our doors here. Just wants to uh, just wants to go ahead and Hello? give us a little insight into his life. Hello, 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 sir. Hi, is this a radio station? Uh, yes, sir. You got host Mandel Brossel. Mandel Brossel. Hey, what's going on? Uh, not much. We're just, uh, you know, kicking it around here, playing a little indie music, uh, and, uh, what's going on with you? Do you have girl problems? Um, me specifically? I can't say that I do, but I don't want to speak for all of our listeners, so why don't you go ahead and expound? Let me just get straight to the point. All right. My name's Beav. Okay. Short for Beaver. Oh, Beaver, all right. Let's leave it to him. I, uh, yeah, that's what it's from. Oh, really? It's from Leave it to Beaver. Get out of here. They would call Beaver, the main character Beaver, they call him Beave. Yeah. And so, uh, I'm a pickup artist. Oh, really? And so I, I chose the name Beave. My real name is Jeffrey Coolidge. Oh, I chose okay. the name right. Beave, Check. so when I tell girls, yeah. they get a... Uh, so wait, hold on. Do you prefer Beave or Jeff? Beave. Beave is my pickup artist Okay. Name. All right. So. That's when I pick up ladies, I say, hey, my name is Beave. All right. They... Uh, subconsciously start thinking of beaver, which is a vagina. Oh, and I see. they get all hot and bothered. I see where you're going with this. Okay. Well, so, um, is that your whole, is that your whole reason behind the beave, the beave name, or is there anything else to it, or does it work every time? I guess is what I'm asking. Well, here, let me tell you a little bit about my technique. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm selling this, if anyone, uh, is having trouble picking up girls, here's a couple, here's a couple tricks for free. Okay. Oh. Uh, no say price tag. you're walking around, going to class, and you see a hot girl that you uh, you're interested in, you're attracted to. Yeah. You follow her. Okay. Okay. Say she's going. You don't say hi. You just you just follow. No. Okay. You don't say hi. All right. She doesn't know you exist yet. No introductions. Right. Okay. You follow behind her. Make sure she she's... doesn't see you yet. Right. Okay. That's key. Follow, say she's going to a uh, cafeteria getting some lunch. Yep. You got to follow her into that cafeteria. Sure. It's going to look weird if you aren't getting lunch, so sure, you get sure. lunch as well. Yeah. Try to pick a table that is near her where you can keep eye contact with her. Mm-hmm. Watch her eat lunch. You eat lunch. So you just learn about her, basically. It's basically just like a, it's kind of like an observation study kind of thing. If you really want to go approach her, this is uh, this is what my teacher. Well, you me. need to eventually to give her the beave right. line, right? Right. Let's, yeah, you can yeah. just sit there forever. All right. Okay. So you approach her and you say, "Oh, hi, uh, Miss." Yeah. They love uh, Miss. Oh, right. Yeah, the colloquialisms. It's a term of endearment. Yeah. You say, "Oh, I had this really hot neighbor, Haley, when I was eight years old. You yeah. look just like her." <laughs> okay. All right. So it's a little identifiability. Get her. Get her, get her to play into your pocket. I see where you're going with this. And nice then you job. walk away. Oh. Oh, all right. This is called Hard to Get. I don't know if you've heard about it. Well, mystery. Yeah, I like it. You, My teacher's name was Mystery. Oh, okay. Oh, you should pick that up. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, you tell her she looked like your hot neighbor, Haley, when you were eight years old. Yep. You walk away. Yeah. She'll be like, who was that guy? Right. Just you're you're just left in her mind, just 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 lingering, and then hopefully you'll just run into her again at a later day. And then the seed is planted, right? Yes. Okay. So that's how that method works. That's the whole uh, that's the whole shot. There's a similar one. Okay. You find say you find another hot. You walk out of the cafeteria. You find another attractive lady. Right. Follow her. Okay. Say she's going to class. Okay. You enter the classroom after she does. Uh huh. You can't just enter a classroom and then leave it. No, you, you're that now a student of that class. Exactly. Right. So you got to commit to the lie, basically. You have to answer questions that the professor is asking. Right. You got to study up. You you got to be a member. Do not sit next to her. Right. Of course, that's no, too obvious. No matter what you. I love how you know these rules already. You <laughs> have you taken my class before? <laughs> You know, I haven't taken your class, but Mystery, did you say your teacher's, yeah, teacher's name was? Name was I actually ran into Mystery a few years back on a Craigslist ad, and I was having trouble getting women, and I was contemplating some darker uh, life areas. But Suicide. Basically, 
mystery is a great help. And um, I have to say, uh, um, the first, uh, the first uh, scenario, I gotta say, I've, I've used that twice, and both times, boom, I've been laid. So you can't really, you can't really shrug off mystery's teachings. I mean, you want to just go ahead and look at him and say, no, this is this is fallacious, but. Um, you can't do that. You just, you just gotta give it a try. You never know until you try, right? Right, exactly. And so, if any of you out there are listening and you're like, hey, I, I'm a guy. I, I would like to go out with a lady. Right. These tips, whoa, I've never thought about it this way. Are there more secrets that this beef guy has that can get me the ladies? Yes, there is. Come to my class. Uh, I'm going to be having a seminar on September the 11th. It's going to be early in the morning. Just come on down. and uh, This September 11th? Or? Yes, this okay. September, uh, September, the 11th of this upcoming September. All right. You don't... Um, did you think hard about that date and planning Why? it out? What are you talking about? Well, I, I mean, I don't know. It's just... Um, it's just kind of a it, it kind of incites uh, tragedy and sadness in 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 the eyes of the American people. Just, the eyes of what? Well, it's, at, it's I, close to Labor Day. Uh, it's it, it it was just a date of great tragedy that occurred in our nation. What um, tragedy? Um, uh, well, there was uh there was an incident with some gentlemen and a plane and some buildings and basically there were a lot of deaths and a lot of destruction. Oh, are you talking about that World Trade Center? Thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the WTC bomb. That was on right. 9/11? It was actually. You're absolutely right. I think um just 11 years ago this September, so I don't know. Might some Maybe. might some might say the uh, the words too soon, but I don't know. May, yeah, maybe you might want to rethink that. The okay. All right. I yeah. I completely forgot about all that. Well, that's that's that's. I mean, that's kind of shocking to be honest with you. You forgot about September 11th. How you did? Do you remember? Do you remember it now, though? I mean, I remember waking up. My dad was like, "Vincent, wake up." <laughs> you saw it on TV, and he said, saw the "Some guys took down. a plane and they're put into a building." I said. Like the beginning of Mission Impossible 2, because in the beginning of Mission Impossible 2, which I was watching over and over again at that time, uh, guys hijack a plane and run it into a mountain. Yeah, I don't think that's exactly, that's kind of similar to what happened, but... I just want to mention, when I was a kid, uh, my birth name was Vincent. Uh, when I became an adult, I legally changed it to Jeffrey Coolidge. And then when I became a pickup artist... Right, beef. Beef. I think we got that one. Hammered down. <clears throat> well, Beef, uh, you've forgotten about September 11th. You've uh, given us some firm insight into your new class. Um, let's see. Um, where else can we go? Uh, oh, do you have any plug? Um, let's see. Well, I'm doing um, a calisthenics class over at the rec gym across from the Mandelbrot Center in UCSD um, every Saturday at 9 a.m. So if you guys want to burn some calories in a very fun way, do some cool jazz from the 80s, then go ahead and swing by the rec gym. It's going to be every Friday, 9 a.m. Um, all right. We're also going to... We're just going to... We're just going to move into a little... Uh, Little action I like. It's uh, it's K plays Crazy Town. Okay, so uh, Is it ever think that just maybe we're supposed to be a little bit crazy? Can it be?